Good morning, everybody. Hi, it's Holly with Smile by Holly. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me. So today, look at this cute, it's a loaded envelope box. And look how cute this is. If you're trying to do either some happy mail or you just wanted a cute little envelope box to give somebody, this is it. And look how cute. Now, I made the box and then I added this cute little shaker card on the top, just a little shaker to, you know, add a little bit of fun. But this opens and I, you've got a great place for, you know, you could add some cards and envelopes. I've just put, in, put some cutaways in here. And then I've got a cute uh, set of tags. And then I also fit a little jar of sprinkles in there. So, and you could fill this with so many different things. But I just, when I saw this idea, I thought, what a darling uh, thing to make. So let's get started and I will show you how to make this fun loaded envelope box. Now I am going to uh, change the dimensions just a bit. When I made this box, it just barely comes together. If you can see it just barely, which is fine. It works just fine, but I'm going to make this top flap just a little bit larger so there's a little bit more coverage on the front, if that makes sense. So the end result will look slightly different. I am going to add a little bit bigger of a shaker card on the front. That's gonna be our shaker, which I've already pre-made just to save some time. So, so, but just know there's a couple ways to do it, but I think with that just barely reaching um, the closure, I wanted it a little longer uh, a little bit longer flap. So anyway, let's get started. Now let me show you the fun kit that I'll be using today. It's by Photoplay and it's called Snow Day by Becky Moore. Look how fun. You know, I get so inspired by paper. My mind just goes crazy. It's like, oh, what can I make with that? I love buying paper packs. You know, it comes with the paper and the embellishment and the stickers and that's definitely my favorite way is to actually buy entire kits because there's so many possibilities when everything matches. So I'm rambling. Let's just jump right in and get started. So let's go ahead and get all of our paper cut. Now feel free if you know, I'm using just a plain base white cardstock, but you could also, if you use double sided paper, you wouldn't actually have to cover this. You know, I've got all the matting for this, but if you use double-sided paper, that would make this project probably even more simple. So keep that in mind, different ways to do it. But once again, I'm gonna use just a base white cardstock and then actually mat the entire envelope. So the first piece of paper you'll need is nine and a half by three and a half. So let's get everything cut and then we'll come back and we will do our scoring. So piece number one. You'll also need a piece that is 10 and a half by two and a half. This is gonna be our outer pocket, okay? You'll need a piece that is six by seven and you'll need a piece that is eight and three fourths by seven. Now get your paper done and then let's do our scoring. Okay, so going with that very last one, eight and three fourths by seven. On the long side, which is eight and three fourths, you wanna score it at two and a half and at three and three fourths. Bring in your page that is six by seven and on the six inch side, you want to make a score at half an inch and at one and three fourths. Okay, so half an inch and one and three fourths. Now on the 10 and a half by two and a half inch side, you want to score it, and this is on the two and a half inch side at half an inch and at one and three fourths. And then on our last piece, which was nine and a half by three and a half, on the short side, we want to score it at half an inch and at one and a fourth. And that is on both sides. So now I'm gonna flip it all the way around and we want to go half an inch 
and one and a fourth. Okay, we are done. So bring in your six by seven uh, piece of paper and that's where you have that little tab. So put glue on the tab and we're going to bring in, this is the bottom of our loaded envelope and we're gonna take that tab and just line it right up here on the top. And if you kind of look like this, you can make sure that it's lined up on the back too. I'm gonna just push that down. As, I'm, as you're doing that, just kind of make sure that everything lines up. What's nice about using wet glue with it is there's a little bit of wiggle room. I'm not getting it on quite straight, so I'm gonna move it a little bit. Okay, so by just adding that little tab right there, that hooks both, both of our pieces together. And as you can see, this is going to be our envelope with the flap. And as you can see, I did make that flap much bigger. Let me bring in my other one. So the flap on this one goes just to the middle. And this one I made, so it's almost actually to the bottom. Now you could cut that down a tiny bit. This is where I plan to put my shaker frame and I wanted something big. So that's why my flap is bigger. Now feel free to change the measurements when you're making it if you want a shorter flap or a bigger flap like this one's going to be. So let's go ahead and make our pockets. You've got the longer piece that's actually going to fit over the shorter, wider piece. Do you see that? That's gonna make that double pocket. So let's go ahead and we will add glue onto the inside of this larger piece. Now I hope I'm not losing you on this, but this little tab right here is going to just line up to this tab. So think tab to tab, tab to tab. And then I am going to add a little bit of glue right here also. So I'll fold it, make sure everything's lining up here on the bottom. And you see how that makes our double pocket. Cute, isn't it so stinking cute? Oh my gosh, I get so excited making projects. <laughs> love it, love it. So how's your day going? Are you having a good day? Lining up those tabs and then this tab and flip it over so it's upside down to make sure that like everything's lined up for both of your pockets. I'm just gonna crease that and push down on it, make sure the glue's adhering good. Okay, we'll stand it up and there is our double pocket. And what we'll do now is you're gonna bring this in and we're gonna line it up on this score line right here. This is where we're going to be adding our pocket so that this piece can come up and over and onto it, okay? So add our glue, do, 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 do. I would love to have music playing in the background um, just because I either like a movie on or music on when I'm crafting, but then you would get what's called a copyright claim if you're playing music. So, so dang, I'll have to sing for you guys. <laughs> now that's actually scary, so I won't. Okay, just lining that up and lining this up here. You wanna make sure that that page is able to flip up and over. And if you've done your measurements correctly, this is the exact size of that front panel. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add some glue onto this front panel and we'll hook it all together. And what this panel does is it makes it so that it closes up that hole in the envelope so your things won't fall out. So we'll fold that over. Once again, that, let me get this out of the way. That is lining up just perfectly. Do you see how that's just even on there? Oh, so cute. And you see how that top flap comes over and there is our loaded pocket envelope box. Boom. Once again, you can have this flap any size you want, but I wanted a big shaker, so mine is a little bit larger. So we are ready to do the decorating and that is my favorite, most favorite part. So let's go over the sizes of the matting. You will want three pieces that are one, 
by six and three fourths. This is gonna go on the bottom, the middle, and then on the top, and I have already started. So three pieces. Then you will need two pieces. This is going to be for the front and the inside front. So two pieces that are four by six and three fourths. Uh, you'll need one piece for the front of the bottom, which is going to be right here, that is two and a fourth by six and three fourths. And then you'll need two pieces. This is going to be for the back and then the inside little pocket. So two pieces that are six and three fourths by four and three fourths. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on fast forward, get all of my uh, loaded pocket envelope matted, and then we'll do some fun embellishments. Be right back. So I got done decorating and then I realized I needed one more piece for the bottom. So this little one inch by six and three fourths, you'll actually need four pieces. Okay, so four, I'm sorry about that. I was thinking three, but it's actually four, so I'm gonna add that fourth piece on. Now, I guess you wouldn't really need um, a piece on the bottom, but I think it makes it a little bit more complete. So either way, either way. But if you do want a piece on the bottom, cut four. And then I think that just kind of ties it all in. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this paper. <laughs> Look how cute that is. So now is the fun part. I had gone ahead and I had made a shaker. Basically, I just cut the rectangle, got the acetate in there. We're gonna fill it with some fun things. And then that little shaker is gonna go right on the front. It's just gonna add a little bit of, you know, extra fun. <laughs> So for the inside of my shaker, I think I'm just going to maybe try, it's always hard to know what to put in. And I'm thinking just some silver. So add your little shaker bits on. Now you could totally make this uh, even with, you know, without a shaker, you could just add a cute uh, embellishment or cut apart on the front. So I just got this fun, huge pack of sequins off Amazon. Have, oh my gosh, it just has all different colored sequins. Look how fun that is. So now I think we'll just add a few little extra colors, maybe some pink, what do we think? I think we'll just do some of this blue with our silver. And if I can find the link to these sequin bits, I will leave it because it wasn't very much and yet I got so many different colors. You know, try, I like to match my sequins to the project. So this was a good buy, I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, a little bit of there we go. Oh, I think that's going to be perfect. Okay, let's get some glue on our shaker. I also got this thin foam board. Let me show you off of Amazon. Um, it's 30 packs of white foam sheets, and they're so good when you're making shaker cards. I think I live on Amazon. <laughs> what about you guys? You know, Amazon Prime was just such an amazing idea. I love it to just, oh my gosh, I ran out of this and jump on the internet and in a couple days you've got your stuff. It's, it's just made it so easy, <laughs> maybe too easy. <laughs> okay, we've got some of that on. I'm gonna just spread my sprinkles out. Now, one thing to remember, a good idea, is to take a dryer sheet and rub it on your shaker if you're making those. It will help so your little shaker bits uh, they move around a little bit easier. Oh, so that little shaker, that's really cute. Well, I'm a fan of shakers anyway. I think I need to add something else on the front. And this is where I get stuck. Sometimes when there's so many options, it's like, ah, I just don't know. He's cute though, that little snowman's cute.
Maybe I'll take a snowflake. Oh yeah, I think that's good. So, so fun, so cute. What do you guys think? Ah, and then you can fill it with so many fun things. You could even just put like candy in there. What I think would be adorable would be a set of note cards. Wouldn't that be fun? But you know, these cute little cut aparts that come in the kits, I think that's cute to add. And then once again, I just used the coordinating paper and made some fun shakers to put in there. So pop that down in there. So what do you think? There are our two cute little loaded pocket envelope boxes. That's a lot to say. <laughs> Anyway, I had so much fun making these. And like I say, just remember there's different options for the size of the shaker and the size of the lid. And once again, you don't even need to put a shaker, but I think that really adds to the cuteness. So thank you for joining me. I loved this project and I loved having you along. You know, please feel free if you have any questions to message me, happy to help with whatever I can. So go have a fun crafting day and hey, if you got some value out of this video, give me a big thumbs up and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. So have a fun day and I'll see you guys later. Bye everybody.